second graders. If you can, open up your anthologies to page 52 and follow along as we read our story, Luke Goes to Bat by Rachel Isadora. The genre or type of story is realistic fiction. Realistic fiction is a story that could happen in real life. As we read, we want to look for characters who act like real people and a setting that could be a real place. Let's meet our author and illustrator, Rachel Isadora. Rachel Isadora grew up wanting to be a ballerina. She was so shy that she wouldn't dance in front of her class until she had practiced the steps in an empty room. Later, she injured her foot and couldn't dance anymore. She decided to become an artist instead. Today, Miss Isadora writes and illustrates children's books about ballet, music, and baseball. As we read, let's think about our essential question. Why is it important to keep trying even if something is difficult to do? That is a great question. Remember, when you hear this sound, it's time to turn the page. Let's begin. It was Brooklyn. It was summer. It was baseball. All day long, the kids on Bedford Avenue played stickball in the streets. Except for Luke. When you're older, his big brother Nicky told him. He's just a squirt, one of the other kids said, laughing. So Luke watched the games from the curb, and then he practiced. He threw a ball against the wall next to the deli. He practiced his swing over and over again. He ran as fast as he could up and down the block. He wanted to be ready when it was time. And at night, whenever the Dodgers were playing, Luke hurried up to the roof where he could see the lights of Ebbets Field. When he heard the crowd go wild, he imagined his favorite player, Jackie Robinson, had hit a home run. Someday, Luke thought, I will hit a home run too. Finally, one morning, the team was short a player. Frankie had to go to his aunt's. Who are we gonna get? Hey, said Luke, what about me? Everyone was quiet. Aw, oh, come on, said his brother. Give him a chance. We got nobody else. He better not mess up. They put him in left field. No balls came his way, so he just stood there. When it was his turn up at bat, Luke took a few practice swings, then stepped up to the plate. I'll show them, Luke muttered. The ball whizzed past. Strike one! Luke held the bat higher. Strike two! Luke was barely in position when the next ball flew past and the catcher yelled, Out! You stink, Luke heard. He got up to bat one more time, but struck out again. Sometimes it just goes that way, his brother told him. Frankie came back in the afternoon, so Luke spent the rest of the day on the curb. He was sure they'd never let him play again. Grandma was in the kitchen when he got home. I finally got a chance to play with the team, Luke told her. Grandma could tell that the game hadn't gone well. Not everyone plays like Jackie Robinson all the time, she said. Not even Jackie Robinson. Luke didn't smile. By the way, Grandma said, are you doing anything tomorrow night? Luke shrugged. Well, if you're so busy, someone else will have to go with me to the game at Ebbets Field. What? You mean a, a real game? Grandma held up two tickets. Ebbets Field was ablaze with lights. But this time, Luke didn't have to imagine the game. Thanks for taking me, Grandma, he said. They watched the Dodgers and Phillies battle it out. The game went into extra innings. By the time the Dodgers got up to bat in the bottom of the 14th inning, the score was still tied 8-8. Eight to eight. With two outs, Jackie Robinson was up. The crowd roared. Come on, Jackie, Luke yelled. The pitcher threw a curveball. Jackie swung. 
Strike one, the umpire called. The pitcher wound up. He threw a fastball, and Jackie missed. Strike two. Three balls follow. All eyes at Ebbets Field rested on Jackie. The Dodgers could still win. Luke shouted with the crowd, Give it to him, Jackie! You show him! Jackie looked around from under his cap, then dug his feet into the dirt. The pitcher began his windup. You can do it, Jackie, Luke whispered. You can do it. Suddenly, Luke heard the loud crack of a bat. When he looked up, the ball was flying over his head, flying over the scoreboard, flying over the walls of Ebbets Field. The crowd went wild. Luke stood up on his seat and cheered. You showed him, Jackie. What a game, Grandma said. See, you can't give up. Even Jackie Robinson's got to keep trying. Luke didn't answer. When Luke got home, he ran up to the roof. The lights were going out at Ebbets Field. Come on down, it's bedtime, Nikki called. Just then, Luke saw a ball lying on the ground. Look, he said, picking it up. This is the home run ball that Jackie Robinson hit tonight. Nah, that's just some old ball a kid hit up on the roof, Nick said laughing as he went downstairs. And that's when Luke saw him. It was Jackie Robinson himself. I hit that one for you, kid. Before Luke could say a word, Jackie ran to the dugout to join the other Dodgers. But he looked back one more time. Hey, kid, he said. Your grandma was right. You can't give up. Thanks, Mr. Robinson. The final lights went out at Ebbets Field. Luke looked down at the winning ball and smiled. I won't, he whispered to himself. And he didn't. I hope you enjoyed this story. Have a great rest of your day. Remember, never give up. And I'll see you next time. Bye.